Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylix 2, which uh, I imagine this will be the last episode. Um, the game's been very, very fun to look at. Though, uh, I think that ultimately there are a few things in it that make it, to me, not as good as its original. It's as, as, as original. It's still a very, very excellent game. I think that there are just some problems with it, though. But yeah, maybe some of these things are, you know, better if you have a controller. I have a controller, but I have not set it up for this game. Um, oh, those things are weird. It's so interesting that, like, now we've been doing this for so long that, like, a human face is one of the weirder things. And, like, it's just a human face on a chicken, you know? When they tie inside a land, they understand Parasho is a fulgent of cave. Okay, we're, we're full up. Kind of, yep, here it is. Nice. Slap granted will bonus. Because with a sequel, you don't necessarily want, you know, a sequel to play it safe. You don't want to see just more of the same. But with Hylix, that's a little different. Because Hylix is already so... Like, in terms of story and gameplay, Hylix is very generic. But you're never there for the story or gameplay. You're just there for the weird visual style. Again, like, it cannot be understated how great the clay is. And so, like, it's almost kind of weird to, like, be waxy and interesting. Am I gonna take, like, recoil damage from that? Actually, it looks like, um... The Vuaxian and, uh, um... Pongorma have similar outfits on. Damn, just a little more and I could have nudged him over the edge. Steak man tube steak manifold. The hot dog was always a really good animation in the original game too. Oh man, this looks weird. Let's get the T row out, right? Hopefully that's the only big hot dog move they have, because, like, those, uh, those could be problematic. What's the move here? I think we'll have you charge. And then somebody should slider some juice, maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's hit you some juice. Just so she has enough to use the, the big ol' wave again. Spiky radius. God, that's so good. Oh, no. That's really bad. Is it still gonna have his charge up? That's really unfortunate. Okay, good. Glad to see that. Photon grape shot, huh? Okay, damage isn't bad. We'll work on you, I guess. We don't really need the lightning now, right? Oh, well, guess, I guess we do. Oh, shoot. I thought Datasmon was going to go next, but he died when I wasn't looking. Oh, man. Wow. 
Ooh, a muscle applique. Let's put that on um Pongorma, honestly. I kind of like the... I really do like games where you can just, like, start stacking up a... Um... Sir? See, and the... Forget the truth, refuse to recognize the edge. The problem is because escape and, uh... Because escape and the arrow keys are both with the left hand, it's really hard to, hit, like, try to move and talk to somebody. So can I not hop in here? Down the plate, the air's hope remembers a tooth. I guess it's not like a uh, like a true upper chamber key. Damn it! Greed. Greed. The tubes are cool, at least. Oh, it's another Wayne head. A soul sponge was in there. Nice. The slappage. Oh, and it's those koi. Good. I'm happy. I didn't want to, like, miss the koi from, um... Because I, I found the koi and then I didn't show them to anyone. Carassius. Foliated. I think that one's new as well. Let's take some of that junk off of you, my man. Is that a fidget spinner also? With like a tail? Bomalaga's tethering the homunculus. Should really watch that. Let's uh, get a multi coffee going then. Oh, it makes a Wayne head. That's funny. What is indisposed to do? I guess it skips turn, right? Bomalog has to go, I think. Cool. The top off from the coffee was pretty sweet. Might even want to use that more, you know? I'll just snap, I guess. I want to see if it... Uh, I guess I don't need to worry about um, killing the... Uh, the one guy in a, in a single move. Because I'm caffeinated. Yeah, the Ectralan. Can't do nothing against me, my guy. Yeah. 
feel bad having charged up for nothing. Oh wow, we got a lot of antennas. I should uh I should go drop those off. I'm gonna do that right quick. Alright, I dropped off all of my antennas. Uh and it appears that like this looks like the water in the afterlife, which is kind of weird. I love that it like comes out and it like it got cut out like a uh like someone sliced it out like a cake. Oh, the upper chimp good perfect. I needed that. Anyway, I don't want to risk like actually getting sunk like sucked into this and pulled down into the underworld. Nice. Cash money, pure profit. I imagine that that might happen, but yeah, it looks like um cuz earlier we saw that uh Gibby's like tubes had shown up in the underworld. And like yeah, I guess he's, like, draining the underworld. And that's why he can't, like, we can't use those waters because that isn't, like, a real, like, underworld bath. That's just, that's just water that's just, like, here. It's at another coma. This pretty worm extracts its struggle. It's like a diving board. It's funny. I haven't had a pool with a diving, I haven't been to a pool with a diving board in so long. Thanks to a number, its foam visibly remembers a crowd. Okay, good. We now actually have one. Animal visibly steers a spell at the useful TV. Well, those are like real Hylex things. Spells and TVs. Oops. Also, the idea of a, of a, like, flying airship as your fortress is, like, that's just cool. There's an inherent cool factor to that, you know? Sorry. But yeah, you can, like, kill dudes in order to get your, your juice back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like Hylix is in such a, like, austere and serious place. Because, like, obviously it's weird and and, like the funny parts of these games come about by saying like, this is weird and, and no one talks about it. And that's the funny part of it. But like, would it ruin it to be, to be like, to call this Hylix two how Gibby got his groove back. Or would that be, would that be funny? I chuckle over it. So I think it's funny, but I don't know if that's necessarily true of everyone. Hand of mood bleen. Do I know those? A lot of health. Ooh, you got a lot of health. So earlier I was like, damage is low in this game, but now like damage can actually get pretty high, but it takes multiple turns for that to like, to like rev it up, you know? Cause like, we're finally getting the triple digits, but it's not like easy that we're getting into triple digits, you know? Hit him, babe. Four. Oh, she's like grappled or whatever. That's annoying. But she's squeezed, right? Let's put another status effect on you there. My uh, my cat snuck up on me. It wasn't like an amazing sneak up, you know, he's a little fat boy and I heard him coming, but. Let's see what a normal lightning does just to see. So like barely half. It's still like double, um, like a snap, because snaps usually hover around like 25s, I think. There you go, 25 right there. Whip. Dying at some point soon wouldn't actually be that bad. 
because I'll get sent to the afterlife. Faded poncho. Yeah, I've got a lot of meat. It is kind of annoying that, like... Again, this is just another problem with the travel and the fast travel, but, like... The way that you just kind of have to deal with, um... The weird, bad, fast travel is kind of annoying. Because, like, I would love to go drop off more of those antennas. And, like, in the afterlife... I mean, even in Hylix 1, the meat grinder was, like, right next to the afterlife. It's, like, exit or entrance. So you could drop your stuff off, like, immediately. And that was really convenient and nice and good. Okay, that's the entrance. Right here is where we're going. I should have slapped those fools. Then again, if I die, it doesn't matter that bad. I like that. It's funny. Another big Gibby. Will bonus. Let's uh let's just get rid of the pool magnet as fast as we can, I guess. You have enough juice to charge and then use the waves. Um, hello? Mason? Okay, cool. <laughs> Game for us for a little bit, but that's okay. Again, that's a really cool and weird design. Like, on the nonconformist, like, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, and that's interesting to me. But because of the, uh... Because the way that the, the thing goes in front of it, it's really hard to see what it's supposed to be. That's unfortunate. Oh, God. Okay, you need to survive long enough to do your cool move. Even if you die right afterwards. Cool. Photon grape shot. That's that's gonna kill someone. Yep. Oh boy. All right, we're back. That thing unfortunately managed to kill me. Ah oh, dang. Um. But I stopped off at the thing and uh, got some juice. Yeah, like, the problem, like, we can do some damage now, but, like, it takes two turns to get, like, some real good damage going, and, like, it's possible that we could do, you know, two turn, like, that damage in two turns anyway. What I would love is for more buffs. Because, what other moves we have? Heal and defend. We can poison guys. We can burn guys. We can make them immune to status effects. We can inflict a status effect on both of us. We can stop nerfs or stop buffs. Yeah, and then we can charge. Like, I would love for the ability to, like, do more things here. It's just, like, there's a lot of... I don't know if it's missed opportunity, because it does make the game weird, unique, and interesting, you know? Hylix is still one of the weirdest games, and it is good for it, you know? It's unlike most other games ever in how it looks. But in the way that it plays, it's a pretty straight up and down RPG. I keep going back and forth in this. Like, I'm not sure how to how to feel on it, you know? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's extra not good.
Oh boy. <laughs> like th there's just a lot where I'm like mm, you know it's not there's a lot that isn't necessarily bad it's just things that I don't like as much but like there was so much I liked in the original Hylix despite it's like very very basic style of play And so, like, all of that ends up not, like... It's not that it doesn't matter, but, like, just... It worked so much better, I feel. You know? I will say, also, this might just be because of... Please stop. Who's doing that? The courtier. Okay. He has to go. I should remember that. It's a law, you must kill the healer first. Well, that's good. Okay, yeah. Just remember to do the courtier first. Be like, of course there's still a lot of good in this game. It's just that, like... I feel like a part of this is that I, I don't want to be mean to indie games, you know? But just because I don't want to, like, be mean to indie games doesn't mean that I shouldn't, like, expect more, you know? And maybe I should expect more. Maybe I should say, like, hey, no, this isn't good and it needs work. And, like, the game is still so good and so fun that it, like, the really? It almost hurts me to have to be like, hey, no, this needs to be better to such a like, good game, you know? Should I just kill myself? Alright, we're back. Okay, cool. We have a courtier. We have a little more will as well. Oh, my wife's awake. Good. Good morning, Sarah. I mean, my fiance. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. It'd be cool if you could put the charge on someone else because, like, you know, in another game, you would be able to, like, put an attack buff on someone. And, like, that's what you want, you know? But having to do it yourself kind of means, like, you just have to, you have to deal, you know? Like, it's not necessarily bad, it's just, like, uh, you know? It's still just a little unfortunate that, like... The game is like this. And maybe maybe this is better because, you know, maybe it's not as bad because I'm supposed to have the special item. But, like, just playing the game, like, you don't get those. Like, you don't get charge up for free. You don't get a lot of these things just because you should have them. And I think that you should have them, by the way. Just so we're all clear here, I think that you should have the items I described. Or the abilities, rather. But you really just don't. 
that's really, I think, this game's biggest weakness. Like, maybe it is just trying to do something new. I talked in the very, I think, the first episode of uh, of the actual, like, Hylix. I talk about how, like, it'd be really interesting if there was a game where the main character was the healer. Because then you always have a heal in your party. In some way, that's the way that you should, like, you know, spec yourself. Like, um... In Persona 3, sometimes it can be really good to spec your main character as a healer. Because then you get a lot of good stuff for that. And you can rely on having a healer. But, like, if it was just, like, no, you are playing the healer. Just because you are. Like, maybe that'd be interesting. Like, I feel like in the other games, you could, um... Or in the first game, rather, you could use the, uh, like... Those things dropped another poncho. I've been getting so many ponchos, but I don't need them. But more importantly, they also drop gloves. The only people who have gloves so far are like heroes. Rapid and mercifully try a turgid hand. That actually does make sense. It's merciful to kill quicker. A nerve impedes in skeleton, very pe verily petty beside the worm. Okay, so we're going to shortcut around to that, I imagine. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Killed that man instead of talking to him. Take that, fool. Okay. You wax in two squids fully at a nonconformist. I don't remember if I have to worry about um, any of those. I think I'll, I think I'll use my lightning on the nonconformist. Um, and I'll probably have uh, Data Smolen and Wayne pop the squids. Yeah. There was a there was a concept that I never finished talking about, but like, say for example, a game like Dark Souls Two that didn't really have like um, they didn't have like a, a rush job put into it because Dark Souls One, for example, I, you know, wouldn't use for this example because Dark Souls One is a uh, was rushed. But, like, in Dark Souls 2, like, some of those areas just feel bad to play. Like, uh... Well... If I talk about the gutter, then, like, I need to talk about how... You know, even though the gutter is flawed, like... There was a, there was a really unfortunate change that happened in the development cycle, so... Let's not even get into that, but, like... Let's say, like, Devil May Cry 4. You know, there are some areas in Devil May Cry 4 where it's like, this is just... It doesn't feel good. Why is it in this game, you know? And so, like, I really don't have an answer for that. Like, I can't just say why, you know, a bad area like that is in this otherwise good game. Granted, DMC4 also has some rush complaints about it. So, like, maybe that's it. Like, I know that this game actually got delayed on its uh, release date. Like, it came out a little late. But does that, like, like, I don't know, like, did this game get rushed? Is that why some of these things are like this? I would hate to hear that, because, like, I feel like any game should, you know, have the chance to get as much time as it needs. There's that now uh, almost apocryphal, I think, Shigeru Miyamoto quote, where he's like, uh, a bad game, a bad game is, a rushed game can be forever bad, but a delayed game can eventually be good. And like, uh, in the lead up to Cyberpunk 2077's proper release, I must have heard that quote about a billion times. But the thing is, is that it is true. You know, like, yeah, don't rush games, you know? Like Dark Souls could have been a contender for best game of all time. 
And like, that's not really an exaggeration. Dark Souls might really be that good. Um, but stuff like Blight Town and the bad uh, like frame rate there, like all of Isolith really ruined that. And so it just, like it, it, it straight up makes those parts of the games not as good, you know? They're just not as good, that's all. And there's less to even say about it, uh, because just like it just, it just isn't good. It's not finished. Arcane in disposal. Okay. Should have had those switched around. That's okay. So are these all like former heroes? Because that'd be pretty interesting. They never sustain furniture. Oh, I came from here. Sometimes just the way that the areas look make it hard to remember where you came from. But maybe that's a me thing because my brain doesn't work correctly. You know me. Ugh. What are they doing? Are they just like venting it? Like are they just like squirting it through the ship? Or are they doing something with it and it's like getting used up? Whoops. Got the slap off. Nice. Let's see if that's enough, huh? Actually, I'm going to pause it because there don't seem to be new guys here. Actually, wait. Yeah, we fought all these guys before, so. All right, we're back in. So, what's the purpose of this area, then? Hit nine hours. Oh, it just... Whoa. We're back to having, like, the, like the indoor lake here. Oh, yeah, because I fell in here. I, I didn't mean to come here on purpose. <laughs> okay, interesting. So that brings me here. I talked to my fiance. She's up. Uh, she was sleeping in after a hard uh, ex not exam. She had a... Um, I feel like I don't need to... Damn. I feel like I don't need to get the money anymore because what am I going to spend it on, you know? Oh, rut row. Alright, I killed myself and ran all the way back. <clears throat> the stuff in the other, like... Like the optional or... One of them isn't optional, but in the dungeons when your health and, and magic automatically refills, like, for free just because you're in the dungeons, like, no joke, those feel, like, really fun. Like, it's kind of a shame that, like, those are so absolutely, like, uh, burning... Sleep and lagging. That's not the same thing as indisposed, though. But yeah, I feel like it's a it's a it's a shame that like you don't get the opportunity to like do that because I feel like just starting from scratch every time is actually pretty fun. It really helps you just, like, get fast, get aggressive, go through enemies. And, like, that's, it's a shame that you don't get the chance to do that the rest of the time, you know? Also, the no negative status effects things is really, really expensive for what it does. Like it's forty, it's forty juice, which is the equivalent of ten, of, of four heals, and it allows you to play the game again. Like if everyone's asleep and you don't have coffee. 
or like just being indisposed like that's really really harsh Like, I have no idea who I should be attacking first, because, like... Being indisposed feels like it lasts so long, you know? Like, I don't think I've seen it uh, uh, expire naturally yet. I feel like a lot of these enemies as well have just, like... Okay, it finally ended. I feel like a lot of these enemies have just, you know, hit me with status effects. And, like, I don't know how I feel about that. So many of these enemies have status effects. And, like, those, uh, those don't necessarily make it, like, good, you know? Like, it's difficult, I guess. But, like, there's, they have so many status effects. It's hard to, like, it's hard to manage sometimes. And again, like, you know, if we had had, if we had more mana, then this might be easier. And like, you know, granted, the reason we don't have more mana is because I haven't found all the paper cups. But again, like, those are all optional things that you need to go and find. Like, every step forward made in Hylix 1 is like, I feel like, met with like a step back. For my grief, a grimly laid person sustains the person. Vessel room key, huh? Like, do you remember how awesome the end of Hylix 1 is? Where, like, you're just fed up with, with Gibby and all of his shenanigans, and you just, like, go on, like, a mad, like, like a slapping spree, essentially. And you just, like, chew through everything that he has. Like, I'm already on a thing to go and try and, and open this door here. And this is a dead end, is it not? Yeah, there's a switch over there, even. Like, there's, there's, there is still so much good in Hylix. And part of it is because, like, the idea of Hylix is, like, so much good inherent to it. But, like, ugh, I don't know sometimes, you know? Like, there's just... Ugh. I um I started backtracking but you know what I'm going to take a break. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to clear my head. Maybe even come back tomorrow. Do this again later. Um Like it's good. It's good. I have more dungeon to do though. And and that's the thing cuz like Let me see here. Yeah, I'm looking at it. There's a lot of stuff in here. So maybe I should do it later. And I think I will. Um, which is fine for me because, uh, you know, then I, I get a little more uh, content out of Hylex because I also need to consider my channel. Not that much, you know. I should just make videos if I need to make videos, but I want to upload stuff every day. But, you know, I've had 40 minutes. I don't know if the end's in sight, but I'll see it. So... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Hylix 2. It is still a very good game, and I recommend playing it for yourself. Um, and if not, play the first Hylix, because I think it's better. Um, uh, you can also play more of Mason Lindroth's work on his Itch.io page. Uh, and those are also fun. Um, if you liked the earlier platforming segment, he has a game called Melter, I think, which works in an almost identical fashion. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.